Hey, I've had some guys ask me how to cut it down an elbow to an oddball degree, like 39 or 37, or if you got a line running in the ditch and it's some pull a string line at some weird angle and you need a, a radius that's a, at an odd angle. So um, I'll show you how I would do it. Um, everybody comes from a different background and different experience. We can all learn something from somebody. So not saying I know everything, but I'll do my best to answer your questions if you got them on layout. Um, so anyway, if I was going to cut this down to, let's say, 37 degrees, I would measure the, the back side of this elbow. And you could also do the inside, but just for demonstration, demonstration, I would just do the back side. So that, that total of that thing, I'm getting 9 and 316. So 9.187, same thing. Um, so I would come up, uh, figure out how far do I come up for 37 degrees. So if you compare in a ratio like this, you've got to be apples to apples, oranges to oranges. So the same thing is on the top. So the the dimensions on the top, the angles on the bottom. So they, they got to be apples to apples, oranges to oranges is a good way to think about it. So you always have your, your ratio the same. So degrees on the bottom, degrees on the bottom. So this is the total over the 90. And we've got how far do we come up? So you cross multiply. This applies to pretty much any ratio. So 37 times 9.187 divide 90 will give you that. That times that equals that times that. You can go any which way you cross multiply and divide. This times this divided by this equals this, or this times this divided by this equals this, any which way you go. So we determine if we multiply 37 times 9.187 divided by 90, it's going to give us 3.776, which is mighty close to 3 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to come up to 3 and 3 quarter. I'm going to mark it right there. And then I would bring it over just with that mark and how I'd get that line right there is I take my string line, which works pretty good on smaller fittings, and you're just going to work it, keep tension on it, and work it over, and that string is going to want to naturally find the shortest path possible, which is in the exact spot you need to be laying out your mark for your cut. So, and there's your Mark, I would just rough cut it with the torch. I'd leave it a little bit long because we're gonna do the next step here is to set that on here. Take a mag level. And you know, these are handy because you can zero them out. Make sure that that's the exact angle, 37 degrees that you want. And then I would tack it, you know, tweak it around, put a wedge in there, get it exactly at the angle that you want. And then make sure you got a tack at the top, but don't bull that tack out. Start on one side of it and back bevel all the way around and finish with that tack. Hopefully that helps. And I'm Darren with OffTheHookDesignAndFab.com.